Ở có thể đi Mà quay nữa Hi, how are you today? Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? So fine. Ready to start the week. Nice, nice. Nice. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi, David. How are you? So, so. Why so, so, David? I am sick. Oh, my goodness. And my son is six. You may for for Friday, but uh, go the emergency mm -hmm. for the class. He got really bad. But yeah. Is he better now, David? Uh, you mean? Is he better now? Uh, so so. It's a, a medicament. It's a very very much radical Ouch. so you have to be pending on him then yeah because no, i don't connect the friday yeah i see but of course right you were checking on your son i hope he continues to be right If change of temperature, maybe is the one right that is illness where. But hopefully, it will pass soon. Okay, let's see, Fernando, why sad faces, Fernando? What happened to you? Sorry, teacher. I'm here. What happened to me about es que there's so much noise here. Oh, that's why you're putting sad faces. Oh, uh, yes, about the about the noise. Oh, tell them be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> quiet, be quiet. It's it's difficult sometimes, I know. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're almost finishing November, right? We are in the last. Well, we we are in the middle of the weeks, right? But we are in the last moments for a lot of for a lot of things, lots of things that finish or finish, right? Like the school year, we finish or finish. So we are all right now, we are just on the last, the last days. Okay, bueno, let's see, um, Adolfo. Present teacher. Nice. Adriana Maria. Adriana, no here. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Ana Ana. Brenda Alexandra. Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. Present teacher. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Are you sick, Carlita? Excuse me, teacher. Are you sick or are you? Uh, I am sick. Oh. I know. No, no. 
Ano del flu, Carly? Del caso la gripe. Imagine if we were prevention, it would be worse, right? Hey, Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Sulma. No, Nubia. Sulema. Nubia. Saúl Edgardo Saúl Sul Miami Yo vi a Pedro que estaba por allí Yes, yes, I am here Ah, okay, okay. But I, 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 I can hear you very well Oh, okay Masha, Saúl Edgardo, Saúl, Saúl, Zulma y Anet, Zulma, Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Fernando Enrique. Present teacher. Rosy. Rosy. Rosy, Rosy. Okay. Um, let's see. We are 15. If somebody entered after I call you. Yes, teacher. I'm here. I'm Brenda. <laughs> hey, Brenda. Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. Um, here. Okay, Ana, Adriana Maria, Jose Alfredo, Nubia, Saul, Sulmayani, Rosy. Okay. Let's let's begin. Let's begin. Let's begin. I'm going to share with you a couple of questions that we're going to be working. This is our class number 10. Right? Class number 10. We're almost getting to half of the course. Class number 10. Okay, check. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about outsourcing. Advantages of outsourcing a 3PL service provider. What does it mean the 3PL service provider? We're going to be talking about that today. And check activity uh, or the objective is participants will be able to express the advantages of outsourcing a 3PL service provider. Outsourcing, what is outsourcing? Who can tell me? Mm -hmm. uh, when you uh, contract another company that doing something for you, Mm -hmm. Exactly. And now there are a lot of services, right, that are given that way. The companies hire another company to do some jobs that they can definitely not manage. Okay, good. Well, to break the ice, I have three questions uh, for you. One, what is a hobby or activity that to currently enjoy outside of work. Probably you enjoy your work, right? But what is a hobby or activity that you currently enjoy outside of, of work? What TV show or movie did you love as a kid? Do you remember? I remember I used to like candy. 
Candy Candy and also Heidi. Those were the programs that I, ooh, long time ago, right? That I used to enjoy when I was a child. Is there, if there were a movie. Candy, for example. Hmm? Which one? Candy, for example. Uh -huh, candy, candy, candy. Imagine, the last question. If there were a movie about your life, who would you want to play you in the film and why? I want you to go work in groups of, in small groups. So I'm going to send you to this class here. Let me see, we're making groups of five. Here we see. Groups of four, one group of five. No, everybody, groups of four. Okay, let's go discuss the questions. I'm going to paste the questions in the chat for you. Vamos a ver. Check there in the chat. In the chat, you have the questions right now. Let's go discuss. Share your opinions, give your answers. Join. Join, join. You have the invitation there. Hi, Jose Alfredo. Let me see. I'm going to send you to a group. Saul, join. Or activity that you currently enjoy outside of work. Hobby or activity? I I go to football classes with my kid on Saturdays, and I enjoy the time. Who else? Hello. Um, in my case, I enjoy, enjoy outside of, of work, um, practice, exercise, uh, walk, um, Um, read, read the books only. But remember, as a child, you as a child, right? Oh, when you were little children, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Ooh, long time ago, Anna. In your case, it was not too long time ago. It's not in the present. And no, no, no. It says when you were a kid. Ah. As a kid, you. Okay, when I was a kid, my hobby um, was gymnastics. Okay. <coughs> I was a gymnastic for seven years. I didn't watch TV because of that. Okay. So I I didn't have a, a favorite TV show. What do you? And if there were a movie about your life, who would you want to play? Ah, muy bien, hello. The first one, the hobby. 
The hobby is present. The the the. Uh -huh. Pay attention to the tenses, right? Pay attention to the tenses because the first one is in present, the second is in past. And the, okay. and the last one is a conditional. If there were a movie about your life, who would you want to play in the film and why? Um, I don't know. Maybe Rachel McAdams. Okay. And why? Because he's my favorite actor. Y Víctor está por aquí, Zulma. No le comentan nada, Adriana, Sofía. <laughs> In my case, um, I don't remember watch TV. Uh, and American football, the NFL, uh, I like very much. Okay. And I enjoy. Um, what TV show or movie did I love as a kid? Um, TV show, I think. As a kid, it was uh, Messenger Zeta. Ah, yes. Uh, Messenger Zeta. Mm -hmm. And your hobbies, David, or just uh, Jose? Hobbies. Hi. Um, maybe only stay at home. <laughs> yeah, sometimes maybe change or uh, repair something. But stay at home for me, it's, it's good. <laughs> it's an easy hobby. <laughs> yes. Um, what TV show? Maybe American Warrior was a TV show from sports, I think. And the last one. If there were a movie about your life, who would you want to play you in the field and why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that, that's it's difficult. Momoa. <laughs> this is more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> to me, maybe mm, Antonio Banderas, maybe. <laughs> My giver. <laughs> <laughs> My giver. Um, and me, I don't know. It's uh, difficult, this, this last one. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know. What do you think, David? Or just... <laughs> uh... Me, uh, I I spend time with my family. Uh, number one. Uh, number two, uh, I the uh, kind of zodiac. Uh, Silverhawk is the old caricature. I remember. And, <laughs> and, and McIver, me too. And the last thing uh, that were a movie about their life is the, for example, is Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious, yeah. That's it. Is is all the questions discussing now? Mm -hmm. Easy. Okay. <laughs> all right, we finish. Yes. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> hi, hi, did you finish here? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Let's go then. How many people missing? Oh, a lot. 26 seconds. Mm -hmm. José Arnoldo, ahí está, very good. Hoy sí. Okay, I see you were talking about hobbies. What is a hobby or activity that you currently enjoy outside of work when you are free? Mm -hmm. Uh, I the, uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Go, Fernando. <laughs> Go ahead, ladies first. <laughs> okay. I tell the the guys I I do this in my work, but I consider it is my my hobby too. And it's a take a pictures. Oh. And <laughs> yes. You were taking pictures, Brenda? Yes, I'm taking pictures and designing too. Oh, that's nice. Yes. <laughs> nice. You're doing what you love, right? What you really enjoy. Great. It's great. Okay, Fernando, what about you? Okay, what I am enjoying a lot out of my work, it's playing my guitar and trying to find some new new music, some new rhythms. And I don't, I don't, I am not a good player really, but I'm trying to, to improve my ability. You're trying to do, to do your best there. Yes. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? No more. Okay, what TV show or movie did you love as a kid? When you were a little kid, what TV show or movie did you love? For me, Home Alone. Home alone, okay. You got identified with the with the little boy. <laughs> no, exactly, but I really enjoy. Okay, it's and that's, fun. that's a very good movie, definitely. Okay, great. Another volunteer. Yes. Yeah, and, and Tom and Jerry. Tommy Jerry. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Who else was saying there? I heard two voices at the same time, but somebody said the Flintstones. The Flintstones, yes, the Flintstones. Mm -hmm. It's a classic. Definitely, and it's still on television, right? Channel two, you can still see it or not anymore. Can you still see the Flintstones? Now, uh, now day, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sometimes. right? Sometimes. What is that? Yeah. Los pica piedras. <laughs> okay. Yeah, are beautiful. 
Yeah, definitely. They are very entertaining. Mm -hmm. Imagine now, if you were, or if there were, a movie about your life, who would you want to play you in the film and why? I, I take a time to respond this, but <laughs> I would like it to be Winona Ryder maybe, uh, because I don't know, I, this girl have a uh, energy almost like, like mine, maybe. <laughs> okay, great, Winona Ryder, nice, Brenda. Mm-hmm. Another volunteer. Yes, yes, yes. Adolfo? Yes, sir. In yes. my case, Julia Roberts, because Roberts. she's very funny. She puts a lot of, of feeling into mm -hmm. what she does. You would like her to play your, your role, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good teacher. Uh, I don't, I don't know, but I believe, I believe that is Tom Hanks uh, during a field in the airport, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yes, they yes. Did. yeah. Yes. because, because I, I have a, I have had a bad experience in the Lima airport during, during two days, I, I, I stayed uh, into the airport, but I I wrote a good history about uh, prostitutes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when I when I stay when I stay in the airport during two days, oh I I met a, a a girl from South America that. Uh, work in the in the Netherlands in the rail street Ooh. and I have a history with authorization <laughs> <laughs> with authorization <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she gave you permission to write her story interesting. yeah interesting oh imagine Vaya, vaya. Will you publish that story? Yeah, but my but my Facebook was blocked. But I can I can share with you, and there is uh, the there is no name. Only we we wrote in some keywords. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My my terminal. Cosa de mochilero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I see. Adventurous. Very good. Excellent. Uh -huh. I would like to listen to one more person. A ver, Jose Alberto. Yes, it's If there were a movie about your life. Who would you like? Who would you want to play you in the film? Um, Tom Hanks. Okay. Tom Hanks. Uh, be almost perfect. That I have a um, I I I think I have a, a affinity affinity mm -hmm. for him for him I. I saw uh, almost all the movies the, the, from, from Tom Hanks. Okay, great. Excellent. And my last volunteer, Pedro. What about you? Sorry. Uh, uh, the last question? Yeah, the last one. I uh, I understand in, if there were a movie about my life, who would I want to play me in the film, right? 
Yes, exactly. Uh, I think, uh, well, I like who can be more uh, likely, <laughs> like me, <laughs> is Antonio Banderas. Okay. And, and why? Because uh, I think he can, uh, he can't be difficult to him. Interpret, interpret me. <laughs> okay, great, great. Excellent, thank you. Excellent. Okay, well, that was just to break the ice a little bit so you can go like out and forget of your work and everything. And now we're entering to topic. Check this. Have you heard the term? logistics before? Have you heard that term before? Their yes. Logistics? Yes? Somebody said yes? I said yes. Okay. Mm, like, what do you know about it? What do you know about third party logistics? Are the companies that are, that had that have all the structure of the supply chain, mm -hmm. uh, transport, warehouses, customs, and distributions. Exactly. So they are in charge of inborn and outbound logistics, right? Okay. Why do companies use three plus or three party logistics? Why do companies use three party logistics? What do you think? I think uh, maybe it, it can be because they minimize uh, their costs in all the process of the logistic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, the cost and the time, right? Because they specialize in certain things that probably the company does not have. Okay, good, good. Now look at this. Talking about third party logistics, um, we're going to number these uh, steps to outsource a third party logistics provider, right? Remember outsource means to hire a different company that will do certain activities for your company so they really facilitate your life, right? I'm going to send you to the groups for you to go discuss these questions. So there. Well, I'm going to send you with the same group right now. Discuss the questions. Um, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, Oh, mm -hmm. try to join. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hi, Mieras. Hello. Hi, hi. Hi. Good evening. 
No, quizás no hay nadie. Sí, aquí estoy, pero no tengo la imagen, no la encuentro. O es el manual. Manual, page 20. Ah, sí, sí, yo estoy en mi celular porque voy en camino. Ahorita, pero vamos a ver. Aquí está. the steps to, to, add, to outsource a third party logistics provider. They will look uh -huh. Do you see my screen? Okay. Okay. Number three steps to outsource third party logistics provider. Develop a detailed plan for the three PL selection. Process. Develop a detailed plan for three PL selection process. Evaluate, interview, and select. Review the checklist of 3PL capabilities and do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. Yo creo que esta sería la 1. Y es ahí vamos a poner el número dependiendo del el orden. El orden. Uh -huh. Okay. Creo que aquí. Y después te dice que tenés que, que tenés que revisar el checklist ¿ya? de lo que ya estableciste. Y finalmente evaluar. Evaluate, interview, and select. Uh -huh. Selects the, the, the logistic provider. The company, yes. The provider. Yes, do internal assessments of your current and future needs. Okay. We will done, teacher. <laughs> John, that is very easy. Yes. No. <laughs> okay, Pamela's West, let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here, teacher. I tell me what what are going to discuss. You already finished. Yes. I'm just waiting for everybody to be back. Everybody. Everybody. Yes. Teacher, I have a problem. Uh-huh. Tell me. I'm not at my home and I only have eight percent of battery. Oh. 
So I think I will disconnect very soon. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> so I will I will be here till the battery last. Till the battery says okay. Okay. Bueno, Fernando. Vamos a ver. Checking what you got. Which are the steps to outsource to outsource a third party logistics provider? Um, the, the purpose here was that you number the steps, right? Which is number one. Mm -hmm. Number one. Do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. Okay. I need a pin here. Aha, uh -huh. number two. Develop a detailed plan for the three PL selection process. Okay. Number three. Evaluate, interview, and select. Uh -huh. Evaluate, interview, and select. And the number four. Number four. Okay. But it was. Okay. So first you check, right? How you're doing, what are your needs? You can do it alone, you need help. And then you make a plan to see what you can, what company or outsourcing you can select, right? Evaluate them, interview them. Mm -hmm. Will you select before checking the list, the, the checklist, or you think it would be better to review the checklist first before you interview and you know what you're going to check in everybody? I have the number three in the review, the checklist, the TPL capabilities. Exactly, because- And number four, evaluate and interview and, and select. Exactly, exactly, because first, if I have, I review the checklist, right? To know what I'm going to be looking for before I, I interview people. So later on, I evaluate the people that appear there to be interviewed. I interview them using my checklist. And at the end, I make a selection, right? But I need something to check to know what I'm looking for and to see who is the right company or which is the right company for the process, right? Any question there? Questions? Mm -hmm. Not What? Uh, remember here when talking about the three PLs, uh, we're talking about logistics, right? So um, we're going to make a review of the vocabulary. Go to the vocabulary part, page 20. Match the terms related to logistics to the meaning. Yeah, match the terms to the meaning. We have transportation, private fleet management, freight claim insurance, cargo insurance, and small package services. Again, I'm going to send you to the groups, but I'm going to move you now. And I guess, I guess we can create a new group. So you become three or four. Okay, vamos a ver, la la la. Uh 
Ok. Bueno. Okay, bueno, pues vámonos. Let's discuss the vocabulary and match with the correct definition. Couple of minutes and then I call you back. See the exercise number four or three, I guess. Yes, exercise number three. Number exercise number three. Three, it's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Match the terms. Can you see? Yes. Thank you, Adler. Okay. Match the terms related to logistics to their meanings on the right. Transportation. Transportation. Okay. I will read the concepts first, and then we match them. A I function think. that allows company which really to remove or minimize the risk associated with vehicle investment. A function that allows company which rely check what is really, really, really rely. 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 Confiar. R E L Y. Rely. That you could confia. Okay. To remove or minimize the risk associated with vehicle investment. I think it's cargo insurance. Mm -hmm. Envelopes or package shipments that weigh less than 150 pounds. Small package service. Mm -hmm. Provides protection against all risk of physical loss or damage to freight. Ah, uh, okay. This one is cargo insurance. Late. And I, think, uh -huh. I think that uh, envelopes or package shipment, it it it's the number. Uh, let me see. Number five, yes. The small package mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. The small package service. Yes. That's what mm. I said. Okay, a legal demand by a shipper to a carrier for financial compensation for a loss or damage of a shipment. I know, yeah, no sé qué es. <laughs> Freight line insurance. Freight. The last one is. Ah, fun. Sería, uh -huh. Esto sería freight claim. Hi, Brenda. Is Jose Alfredo here? Hi. Yes, but I I don't know 
were discussing the, the questions? Uh, page, yeah, no? page 20, activity three. Okay. Number three, you're matching. Jose Alfredo, are you available? Hola. No, teacher, todavía no. Ah, pues lo voy a mandar a otro grupo. Okay, teacher. Okay. Their own commercial terms. Yes. Yes. Well, oh, okay. The so number three provides protection against all risk, risks of physical loss or damage to freight. Yeah. This is not this this not this is not discussion cargo insurance. I don't understand cargo insurance. Um is the is the is the, 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 the package you uh, pay for insurance to to that? Yeah, of course. Ah, ah, because okay. because you you need the product in good and Conditions. right condition, right? Yes, 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 yes. Mm. Uh, all right, all right. Then uh, there is a legal a legal demand by a shipper to a carrier to for fina for financial compensation for a loss or damage of a shipment. Uh, okay. Free okay. Insurance. Yes, that that is clear. <laughs> yeah, Mauricio, can you read the next one? Number one. Or num number four. A legal demand by shipper to carrier for financial comp compensation for a loss or damage of a shipment. Yeah. Freight fresh claim Freight insurance. Claim insurance. Yeah. Of course. Next one. The physical process of transporting commodities and merchandise, goods and cargo, transportation. Yeah, the physical process of transporting commodities and mer merchandise, goods and cargo, transportation, because transportation includes all cycles, all, all, as uh, all items or condition to uh, in the logistic terms. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Well. Good. Good. Good job. How do you like, teacher? Fine. 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 Nice. Okay. Thank you. Well, we finish. You're ready. Yes. Ready to go. We are ready, ready to go to the main room. Okay. Or we can we can talk about the last weekend. About the soap opera. Hi, teacher. Hi. Can you see our screen? Yes. What do you see? Excuse me. What do I see? Uh huh. What do I think? What do you see? Because I'm working in Word, so I don't know if you can see the screen or my word. I can see the manual. I am watching PDF. <laughs> uh huh. The manual in PDF. Manual. Ah, okay. Bye. I'm busy. Are you agree with our? Work? Do you Our match. do you agree? Ah, do you agree? Excuse me. Do you agree? Uh huh. Intermediate level. Sí, ya le puedo poner multa. Do you agree? You said do you agree? No, she told me are you agree? Ah. Uh. Are you angry? Quería decir. 
<ríe> este, hmm. number one is okay. Okay. We talked about. <laughs> I agree with number one and number five. Okay. So let's work in number two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Private fleet management. Okay, in English, with English, get a private fleet management. Teacher, where is what is your favorite team to the World Cup? My favorite team, I have many. Uh, oh, really? Only one. Argentina. Oh, okay. You are a fan of Messi. Yeah, I prefer Messi. Argentina, <laughs> okay. Brazil. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those men. Okay. Good. I don't know if Costa Rica is going. Yeah, what? Yeah. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Yes. Or no? Yeah. They are in the, now they are in, in Qatar. Oh. Yeah, of course. Okay, then also Costa Rica. Okay. But. Okay, one of them to win will be okay. <laughs> it's very difficult to, to choose because we are basically choosing the people from the region, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, Argentina will be one of my favorites. Yeah, of course. What about you? Which is your favorite? La Argentina. Argentina too. My favorite, Costa Rica. Okay. Huh, so you agree. That's why you agree with me when I said Costa Rica. <laughs> 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 because we're always looking for somebody that is from our region, right? That are like the... That is a... The, our same roots. That are our same room. Mm, yeah, of course. From the region. So hopefully they yeah. do a very good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's Salvador, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe in, maybe in eight years. Mm, could be. Yeah, because the this is a process, right? Uh, Yes, it takes time. And, and we are starting now. A new process by the hand of, of Hugo. Mm -hmm. We need a little, if the thing is that we should begin with the little children. The yeah, of course. Children, because they are mm -hmm. the ones that... Uh, A complete process is needed. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So beginning with the children and they when they go growing with that, with the practice, mm -hmm. very good. Yeah. But here we don't have that culture of preparing the children. Mm -hmm. No, we don't have. They should begin. And later yeah. on, we will have a champion. Huh? <laughs> 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 yes. Maybe one day. You finish, right? Yeah. Okay. We finish. Okay. Bueno, let's go. Pues. It's time. Let's to go. Attendance.
Okay. Let's wait for everybody to come and then we will go for the attendance. Ten minutes, not ten seconds. The view of Anna is good. <laughs> I like. Um, Oh, on the dark. And I seen the dark. She likes it. Yeah. <laughs> Anna, why are you in the dark? Turn, turn the light. Uh, <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Thank you. We, we can see only the middle of your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a, there's a lamparita de niño. <laughs> okay. She's, she's hiding. It's hiding, yeah. She's hiding from us for us not to see her. Anna, mm -hmm. why are you hiding? Because it's time my daughter's bed. Oh. Mm. oh, I see, I see. I see. This is going to sequence. Bye, ready to say present, right? Let's see, Adolfo. Adolfo. Present, teacher. Adriana Maria. Present. Adriana Sofia. Present. Ana. Present, teacher. Brenda. Present, teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Cruz. Cruz, cruz, cruz. Lo perdimos. Perdimos a Cruz. No está. Cómo no, Cruz, hello. Por allí lo veo. Eh, David. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Nice. Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher. Nubia. Present Nubia. teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl Edgardo. Saúl. Saúl Edgardo, eh, Zulma Yanet, Zulma Zulma, Victor, Fernando. Present teacher, present. <ríe> Rosy. Present teacher, yo, Fernando. Ok, Fernando, good. Rosy, Rosy, Rosy. Fíjense que alguien no me ha dicho present que está por allí. Vamos a ver. Ah. Alguien se desconectó. Oh. Oh. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno. We are... We are complete. Bajan, bajan. Okay. Bueno. 
Ready to share? Yes. Transportation. What is transportation? A physical process of trans transporting commodities and merchandise goods and cargo. Mm -hmm. What is a private fleet management? Uh, this is a function that allows company which rely to remove or minimize the risks associated with vehicle investment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Freight clean. What is freight clean? It's a legal demand by a shipper to a carrier or financial compensation for a lost, a loss or damage of a shipment. Mm -hmm. Number four, cargo insurance. Cargo insurance. Um, a legal demand. No, it's uh, the action to provide protection against all risk or physical loss or damage of the freight. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And the last one is small package service. Mm -hmm. What's the last one? Shipment that weigh less than one hundred fifty pounds. One hundred fifty pounds. Okay. Yeah. The abbreviation is not correct. I think. Veamos. Libras, LBS. Es que fíjese que sí. Así se abrevia, pero se dice pound. Really? Sí. Así se, así se dice. Así se, así se abrevia, ajá. ¿eh? Pero it's, a, it's a conventional are. terms in logistics, I think so. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> that uh, we uh, that we say we say pounds, right? Yeah. Uh, questions. Questions. No questions? No question. Okay, check. Uh, transportation, the physical process of transporting commodities and merchandise, goods and cargo. Yeah. Private fleet management, a function that allows companies which rely to move or minimize the risks associated with vehicle investment. Freight claim insurance, a legal demand by a cheaper to a carrier for financial compensation for a loss or damage of a shipment. No, 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 of physical loss or damage to freight. And the last one, small package services, envelopes or packed shipments that weigh less than 150 pounds. Okay, good, good. Now, in the next activity check, uh, we're going to see what is first logistics and what it includes, right? Third logistic or third party logistics or 3PL is used interchangeably with fulfillment warehouse or fulfillment center. 
I remember last week we were talking about the uh, the fulfillment centers, right? Where the all the logistics happens when you are receiving the products, sending them to the warehouse and then sending them out again. Then we say companies that provide three PL services offer many of the same services as order fulfillment companies. But those services that they offer include the following, and you can see here. They include water housing, inventory management, shipping and receiving, flat and let freight shipping, picking and packing, kidding and customization, and reverse logistics when they have to, or when people return something. Okay, those are the things that you may include in the third party logistics. I want to see uh, you to see a couple of more aspects before I send you to work and to think about the advantages and the disadvantages of the third party logistics. Check this. A third party logistics company acts, acts as an e commerce fulfillment a company and it provides all the services you need to outsource your logistics operations. So, if you do not have a space, there are companies that don't have a warehouse, right? So, they outsource the warehousing of their products. So, they outsource all the logistic operation, and they don't have to worry anymore about that logistics. A different 3PL services companies specialize in different types of fulfillment and warehousing. So it will depend on the part of the logistic that you need. If you can outsource only warehousing or just a transportation, right? Or just the outbound or just the inbound. So you decide what you're going to outsource or you can outsource everything, right? So, but they can specialize in different types of fulfillment and warehouse. Some are equipped for call fulfillment in case of a, you transporting frozen things or things that need to be refrigerated. These water warehouses can store and ship food products that need to be refrigerated or frozen. Other 3PL companies are prepared to store and ship hazardous materials, right? For example, uh, Chemex. If you need to transport Chemex, you can hire a company that is specialized on that, right? You can also have rest tag fulfillment. It is one uh, of the top third party logistics provider for heavy, bulky, and high value products. So if you don't have enough space in your company, you can find, right, or you can hire a rest tag fulfillment. Remember at the beginning, we were saying about assessing the company, right? Checking uh, what are the things that you need to do or what you need to outsource. Then you go for a checking or making a checklist and see what is the best company to outsource you. And it will also depend on the type of material that you want to move, right? So some companies, uh, talking about some different things, they can also outsource the cleaning, right? The cleaning of the company because they don't want to, uh, to do it themselves. They can outsource the cleaning or they can also outsource uh, the keeping an eye on the products or on everything, right? So they can have people taking care of all the things that they are moving 
or watching the company. So it depends on what you need to, to give the, per, the other company to as an outsource. But remember the outsource is a company that is not well, people that are not part of your company, but that you hire them and then you throw them all the responsibility of whatever you need. So in this case, we're talking about a warehousing, right? Talking about warehousing and also transportation, right? So you can uh, give as a 3PL, you can give them the, the warehousing, but also they have to be equipped with all the necessary things even in the transportation when they are going to move your products, right? But what is 3PL? That is a stance, again, for third-party logistics, as we mentioned before, right? The term third-party logistics is also used interchangeably with other fulfillment, we said, right? A third-party warehouse provides a full range of e-commerce fulfillment services, and this can include water housing, as we were mentioning in the previous exercise, order processing, shipping, and receiving, right? So those are the different things that you can uh, count on when uh, you want to use or to make use of a third party logistics. And also this can include a customer support, returns processing, and customization. So if you say, well, I want a, I need a company to, to give the customer support because we do not have the specialization to give the support, then the same company, you can hire a company, you outsource a company that is going to give that support to your clients. Mm -hmm. What are some basics of the third party logistics? Remember what I mentioned at the beginning? They, they manage inbound and outbound transportation for their clients, as well as warehouse, right? Transportation and warehousing. So, you as a company don't have to worry about uh, anything, right? Because they are going to bring the, the product or the materials or whatever you want to buy from the, remember we said last week that inbound is when the product is, is coming from your supplier to you and outbound is when the product is going from you to the customer. So if you don't have a you can make use of a, of a third party logistic to move your product, right? So that means transportation and also to warehouse your product. Mm -hmm. Most 3PL companies own or lease. What is lease? rent, right? They rent uh, or alquilan. So they have, they own their own <laughs> but if they do not have a space, a, their own space, they can rent a space to offer that a service, right? Of the outsourcing of warehouse which they provide to the clients. So imagine I work as a third party logistics, but I don't have a space. I have the transportation, but I don't have the space. What I do is that I just go lease a warehouse and then I don't have to tell my clients, listen, I give you the transportation, but I do not have a space. Tell me, Anna. It's like American Park, teacher, solo para entender. American? American Park. Una zona franca, teacher. Mm. Uh -huh. They have a lot of warehouse uh -huh. and they rent the space. And there is like a, 
like a place they have there in the in the in the whole place uh -huh. they have uh, even doctor bank uh, many things but the the thing is that they have a lot of warehouse they rent the warehouse so to to understand what is the meaning i i i i'm Mm. idea no uh -huh. no no but the thing is this uh, what I understand uh, correct me if I'm not if I'm mistaken what I understand of what you're telling me is that they possess the warehouses but they do not use them and they do not manage them right so they hire the the, the warehouse to other companies is that correct Okay. No, American Pal is the owner. Uh -huh. They rent. Yeah, they no. rent. Exactly, exactly. They rent it to other people. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So in that case, that is not outsourcing. Outsourcing is, a, or with the example I'm giving you here, is for example, if they give me, right, they give me the service because they offer an outsourcing offers services, right? So they, get, they offer to me the service of transportation and warehouse, but they don't have a space. Then they go and lease a space. El lease es rentar, o sea, alquilar. Ellos no tienen el espacio y van y se lo alquilan o, se, o le pagan alquiler por este espacio a alguien más. En este caso podrían ir a alquilárselo a American Park because they have the space, right? But this company, of the third party logistics, they offer the service, right? With the, How to do? With it's, the thing, uh -huh. it's, it's their responsibility. Exactly. So yes. it's the responsibility to see what they are going to do with the, where they are going to keep the product, right? So they are offering the service. Imagine yeah. that I say, listen, I need to move um, 500. They, they, they give me a warranty, right? Of and course. they proceed. Yeah. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. There is an insurance cargo, remember? Mm -hmm. There is an insurance cargo. So they are responsible for everything. So as they are offering to you the service, they are responsible since the moment they take your product, they are responsible for that. Mm -hmm. But imagine, I do not have a warehouse. So I'm going to, uh, to hire you as a third party logistics for you to move the product from the provider, right? And warehouse the product while I distribute it to the customers. Imagine, but I'm going to give you the example of something that's happening right now, Black Friday. I know that for Black Friday, people get crazy buying lots of things, right? So I need to buy 500 televisions, but I do not have the space to keep the televisions in my, in my office because I don't have a warehouse, right? So I'm going to hire Mauricio, that will be the third party that I'm going to hire. And it's Mauricio's responsibility to move the 500 televisions, to take them to his warehouse. It doesn't matter if he owns the warehouse or if he's renting the warehouse from somebody else. But when he says, yes, uh, Soila, I'm going to take the product. Um, I have the space, right? I'm going to be in charge of this. So he takes this 
the inbound going. Oh, for example, teacher, the free party logistic is the RANSA. RANSA is the operador, the free party logistic. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They have the big trucks, it's right? It's the best example because exactly. they bring the product directly mm -hmm. to their fabric, for example. Uh -huh. So they uh, give you the service that of bring the product directly to the fabric. That they, then do they, they transport. Do they give you the two things? Transportation and warehouse or just yeah. transportation? No, no, everything, everything. Every okay, everything. so they do the inborn and the outbound, yeah? Mm -hmm. They cover both ways. Excellent, excellent. So it doesn't matter if they do not have, in this case uh, the, of the example that David is given, they owe the transportation and they owe the warehouse. But in some, in some cases, there are uh, companies, especially when they are beginning to offer this service, right? They do not have the transportation. So they can use a, another transportation or they can use another person's warehouse, right? But it's the responsibility that they are taking. So what I mean is that you don't need to have the, the warehouse and you don't need to have the transportation to be able to offer this outsourcing. Of course, it is much better if you have it, right? But if you don't have it, you can still offer it. Now, another uh, basic of the third pile logistics, they refer to the fact that you are outsourcing your order fulfillment. So the complete thing, right? You don't own a, the warehouse. Instead, you rent self space for your products in a large warehouse that stores product for multiple companies. Have you seen that? A, a warehouses where you can find products, not just of one company. There are products of ooh, many companies, depending on how big the warehouse is, right? Warehouse employees receive your products and place them into inventory. They pick them from shelves to fill orders and pack them securely for shipping. Así como hace Amazon, right? Amazon has the space, has the transportation, the shipping, has the people, has everything. But if you yeah. see all the, pro not all the products that Amazon is selling belong to Amazon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this P, uh, 3PL works with various carriers. So they deliver orders to clients in different forms, depending on where the people are, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know if you have any question related to this. No question? No? It's so difficult to, to understand at the first time because there are many new terms and they are confusing. <laughs> yeah. I know. But, but we remember, have to uh -huh. continue. Remember that you have to come to the idea that uh, outsourcing is a service. Right? Yeah. Outsourcing is a service. It's a service that is offered by somebody. But uh, third party logistic, uh, is, is like a tercerización de servicios or not? Mm -hmm, exactly. Because, okay. Uh, I remember last week we were talking about logistics, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Saying that the company uh, in the logistics, they are in charge of receiving the, co the product from the supplier, uh, sending it to the warehouse, and then uh, packing mm -hmm. all the necessary things and then shipping the product to the to the customers. But it's not necessary that you as a company do everything. 
So yeah, of course. When we talk about the third party logistics, is that I don't have the time to do that. I do not yeah. have the means. I don't have transportation and I don't have a space. The best examples are the uh, brokers in in agro industry, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So yeah. you don't need to have a big warehouse when you can hire one. Usted contrata a alguien que se haga cargo de toda la logística. Yeah. But teacher, but the, the TPL is only the distribution, transportation, and the warehouse. That's exactly. it. Exactly. But it depends. It depends. Yeah, because because in the in the beginning of the process and in the middle of the process and in the end. Exactly. But it, it depends. Because for example, the example that I was giving you of Amazon, they do everything, right? They do everything. And it depends if imagine uh, you're selling refrigerators to say something, right? Just to give you an example, I won't tell you it is like that because I don't know. Just imagine Walmart. It is Black Friday in, okay, in about a week, right? Couple of days. So for Black Friday, they sell oof, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I know Walmart has a lot of warehouses, but let's suppose that they didn't, right? Just let's suppose. What they could do in this case is hire a, or outsource a warehouse, a large warehouse to keep the products. But as they are selling so many and they don't have only one store, they can also outsource this and take the third party, also deliver the product to your customer or to your client. Or not telling the client in un mes le llega su producto because we have so many people buying, so we're going to take a long time to send it to you. They, even in normal time, they take between three days and a week to send you the product, whatever you buy, right? Imagine in Black Friday when everybody gets crazy to go buy and if they have to send you the products, that's why I'm saying, assuming, right? I'm not saying things are like that, but they could, in this case, outsource a large warehouse and also some transportation to take the product to your customers as part of health, right? Remember, when we take, uh, when we talk about third party, that means other people are part of my company doing the logistics. Because in my company, we're not enough to do it because we do not have the space or because we do not have the transportation. Sometimes the company has the transportation. They just need the, tra the, 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 the transport. Sometimes they have the warehouse, right? They have the space. They only need transportation. But what about if you do not have the warehouse? You can also make use of these third party logistics for that. Okay. I want to show you a picture for you to see how we, uh, how this works. Check. Uh, the, uh, the purpose, right, of the third party logistic warehouses are designed to maximize speed and efficiency. Right, we want to get rid of all the things that we sold, take them out quickly, right? Or we want to get all the things that we need quickly and we are only 10, we need other hands to come and help us. That's the purpose, right? As your business grows, 
they can handle the extra volume and you can expand your capacity without hiring additional staff. Sometimes hiring staff can be a problem. That means paying lots of more things. So it's cheaper to outsource these things, right? To these logistics. A 3PL can work with, with you on ways to reduce your shipping costs and delivery times, especially time, right? When you use a 3PL company for your e-commerce fulfillment, you get the benefit of experience and focus. Hey, because they focus only on that. And then you can focus only in producing, right? I want you to see this. <clears throat> check we have purchase from the manufacturer right we have the purchase then you store the inventory not necessarily in your warehouse but can be in the 3pl warehouse then you take that to offer products for sale online that happens uh, a lot with those companies that have a uh, uh, they sell online so they if you sell online you don't need to have a lot of space mm -hmm. you, can, you can hire a 3pl warehouse right and then you get the orders coming and as the orders coming the products come from here from the 3pl warehouse right and that the triple the three PL warehouse, the one that ships your orders. Mm -hmm. But that, that is a depending on the type of contract that you're doing with your three PL. Yeah. If you only tell them, okay, listen, I just need transportation from the providers to my warehouse. That's it. In that case, as David said you are in charge of the shipping for taking the orders to your customers. That if you're hiring this 3PL to do all the delivery because you do not have a space, that's another story. Mm -hmm. Okay, and check here. There is more than one way to outsource your order fulfillment. When you adopt a drop shipping e-commerce business model, you order fulfillment and handled by a third party. In this case, it's the third party doing the difficult job and you're just sitting in front of your chair selling, right? Any questions there? Thank you. Yeah. Um, but it's not only for the 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 outsource is not for only the transportation and and, and the purchase of products uh, it is for the administrative service too oh yeah it can be it depends it depends on what you need and you see uh, that's why it says what is the best for your business I remember. Uh, I mean, in the in two thousand thirteen, I started uh, working with a Digicel as an activation supervisor in in the Western area. And in two thousand fourteen or two thousand fifteen, uh, they fired almost two hundred people because uh, they give to the the they give the distribution an outsourcing company mm -hmm. and it, because the, the, the company the, in, in this moment, Digicel, uh, they save many problems and costs and salaries and, and gasoline, uh, personal management. And if the, the words for the 200 people, but uh, for the company, it's the best option. Exactly, exactly. That's what I was telling you. Because then you don't have to worry about those things. It's somebody else worrying about that, right? 
And for you, for your company, it can become cheaper because you don't have to worry about uh, paying salaries, paying aguinaldos, paying transportation, anything, because there is somebody else who will worry about that. If you see, uh, for example, vigilancia, the cleaning, sometimes the companies don't have it. They outsource. And there is somebody else getting to the company to clean, right? So you don't have to worry about things. It's like having a muchacha that gets to your house once a week instead of hiring one that will be with you every day of the month. <laughs> right so you outsource it what is the difference if you need to clean your house consciously probably once a week and when that day uh, the 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 woman who cleans arrive she cooks beans she washes the clothes of the week she irons she cleans all the house and you pay k 20 dollars but having that person every day in your house will mean giving her breakfast, lunch, and dinner, giving a room, giving a soap for her to wash her clothes, soap for her to, to take a shower, shampoo, right? Electricity, yeah. because she will need electricity to watch television and to rest a little bit. So all the expenses, that you take and then if the new law says that you have to pay a social security that is mm -hmm. one, right and that's what the companies are getting rid of when they hire an outsourcing because it's cheaper it's easier because they don't have to be there watching what the people are doing and it's cheaper for them Mm -hmm. Bueno, let's go now to the, uh, what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages? Here we have three only. It said their party logistic services improve customer satisfaction with accurate order fulfillment and on time delivery. 3PLs reduce current costs, current cost management instill is still the number of one priority for cheapers and 3PLs often offer an advantage across the cost of their total operations. And 3PLs reduce risk. This includes a range of risks like union issues, environmental risk and supply chain performance risk. So risk. what you're going to do here is discuss the advantages of hiring a 3PL provider and I'm going to add you one. Give me one more advantage, okay? But I'm going to send you to the rooms. It's almost time. That's in the manual, okay? So I will call you. I'm going to make other groups again. I will call you in hmm, about six minutes for you to chill. Yes. Six minutes? Yes. Okay. There you go. Join, join. Join, join, join. Your turn. Mm -hmm. 20. 20.
last part of the I'm exactly A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she wants another one. Yes, I want another one. All right. Okay, for me, another advantage of of a hiring a triple provider. Um, this is a low cost of operation practical. Yeah. Uh, no, no more low cost. Uh, and true PL they use uh, because uh, minimize uh, the responsibility. Minimize the, the, minimize the responsibility. Yes, the responsibility with the 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 personal. Mm -hmm. the yeah, that you, you, yeah. That can be the fourth because the first one is uh, uh, services uh, services improve customer satisfaction satisfaction. Mm -hmm. uh, the second uh, reduce the current cost. And the third one is reduce the risk. Yeah. And the fourth one is like, uh, like you said, David. <laughs> I work. I work uh, with Ransa. And Ransa, I I use the uh, the outsourcing only. Uh, <laughs> For all uh, operation, you need outsourcing. Not the whole operation. Is the operation in the uh, inbound and outbound operation? Mm -hmm. It's that complete. It's uh, a uh, medium, medium, uh, medium work, medium operation, because the the control of the warehouse, the inventory, and mm -hmm. the supervisor is my responsibility. Yes. Yes, but. The, but it's compartir the, the responsibility with the, the runs. Each chair. Right, right. Yes. But if if I, as a company, I eh, contrato, como se, yo te contrato, I hire you, I hire you, hiring as, as Ransa, uh, I, uh, I uh, uh, minimize at, uh, almost zero the responsibility to do all the things of logistics and i can take my time in other in other uh, uh, items or or in in other hi hi did you finish? Yep. No, we are Kaya di Tanda. Hi, teacher. I know me. Monday? No, me diga que también se enfermó. Sí, ya tengo una semana. Ouch. Sí, pero ya, ya, ya voy de salida. Solo es la, el malestar en la garganta. Mm. Pero ya, ya poquito falta. Vaya, qué bueno, qué bueno. Gracias. A cuidarse. Mm. The protection. Sorry. Uh, but, okay, it provides protection against all risks of psychological loss or demands of faith. Uh, risk. Uh, the three is the is talk about the risk and protection now. Yes. Okay. Uh, so yeah. we have the the satisfaction the satisfaction satisfaction of the customers, the delivery, the reduced uh, the codes, 
the cost and the reduction of the risks. What others can be used? I don't know. The function of the company is to remove all Okay. Um. I think uh, others other advantage mm -hmm. is that you make. you make your supply chain more agile. <clears throat> That's an, it's an advantage. In mm -hmm. order is more agile in order to in order to get the product as soon as possible, you are going to sell more more early. Es decir, hace la cadena de abastecimiento más rápida. En la medida que más rápido eh, estos de logística te hacen llegar el producto, más rápido lo ven. Exacto. ¿Entiendes? En Pero, ocasiones. Ok, you make your supply chain more agile. Okay. You make your supply chain more agile because when you obtain the product quickly, you more fast. No, yeah, more fast for it's more fast for the for the sale. It's faster. It's faster. Okay, it's faster for the sale. Así es, supply. Okay, well. Supply, yes. Sí. That would be no. Vamos a ver. Con arte. Sí, con double P. Double P. And agile? S U P P L Y. Mm -hmm. And agile is, is right there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think yes. yes. Yes, okay.
Are you ready? Yes, yes. Ok, vamos a ver. Ok, who wants to share the first one? Third party logistic services improve customer satisfaction with accurate, accurate or fulfillment. A ver, and on time delivery. Who wants to share that one? Volunteer? Yes, Anna. Anna. Good evening, teacher. Excuse me. Explain the first one. Third party logistic services improve customer satisfaction with a current food. It, the token, the, the first one talk about the the advantage of use the third party logistic services is that you have the product on time, in order, complete, and as the as the, as the the sentence say with a current order fulfillment. So you don't have to worry about what my product it's coming. Mm -hmm. So when the client uh, completes the order, right? That's order fulfillment. The moment the customer completes the order to buy. So there is somebody in charge of that. Okay, thank you. Let's see, letter B. Letter B, David. Okay, the 3PR reduced current cost, cost management is, is still the number one priority for shippers and 3PRs often offer an advantage across the cost of their total operations. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, I, I told with my group is the, is, is true in the, Minimize the the cost, but uh, the but the pen is the the industry, and when they use the el correctly use the triple. Exactly, exactly. It depends on what is your industry and what type of of service you need, right? Okay, thank you. And the last one, Brenda. Brenda, Brenda. Uh, and the last one talk about the reduced risk. 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 Sure. The includes a range of risk like union issues, environment risk, and super chain performance risk. And talk about in the group this uh, advantage because the 3PS reduce the physical process. Sorry, sorry. The, yes, the physical process of transporting and goods and cargo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, the 3PL will be in charge of everything, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So they have to check that there is no risk. Yeah, and privacy protections mm -hmm. and the risk, all the risk. Exactly. Okay, great, great, thank you. One volunteer to share the extra advantage that you got. Alberto, volunteer. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, thank you. Well, we, we discussed with, with my group and uh, Victor 
give us the a best idea mm -hmm. and is uh, okay, when you make or you we, you make your supply chain more agile because when you obtain the product quickly is fast for the sale okay exactly and if the customer is happy yes everything is perfect okay great okay great meeting some of the punctual bueno no tanto pero casi <laughs> two minutes hey, let's see tell me present 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 y present. hoy se queda conmigo quién ya perdí yo el, la noción yo creo que es José Alberto verdad José Alberto I don't know teacher. porque él me ya no está Vaya, David, porque está enfermito, lo más de arte, cansar, que quede otro día. Adolfo, present. Present, teacher. See you tomorrow. You, Adriana María. Present. Adriana Sofía. Present, teacher. Ana. Present, teacher. Brenda. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia, no sé, sí, Guadalupe. Yo dije, lo estoy cambiando. Present teacher. Eh, Cruz Antonio. David. Present teacher, present. Ok, José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Antonio. José Arnoldo. ¡Ah! Present. <ríe> Alguien le tenía que cambiar el nombre ahora. Ok, Carla Lorena. Mauricio. Present and good night. Night. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl. Saúl, Saúl. Saúl estaba, estuvo, está. Estuvo por allí, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh -huh. Zulma Janet. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Fernando. En Rossi. Present teacher. Ok. Great, great. Bueno, have a nice day see you tomorrow bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. take care bye teacher good night bye good night bye 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 teacher bye carlita hope you feel better <clears throat> thank you Okay, Jose Alberto, tell me, do you have any questions? Um, no, teacher. <laughs> in, in, I, I think is in, in this uh, unit, I have less problems mm -hmm. than the others. Yeah. yeah. I know. It's, no, it's not easy, but uh, I, I, I understand you're more, a little more. You're more familiarized with the topic. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And in the the logistic is a uh, is is something uh, that I always I want to, to learn. Mm -hmm. Because with with my family 
eh, se dice? Hemos tenido. We have had. We have had uh, plans for a, a business. And okay. it's starting with, with uh, transportation in, in the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and that's a, a beginning, right? So. We start making plans and getting mm -hmm. ideas, checking what's the best option. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I have um, many friends that they have uh, trucks and transport the cemento oh. from uh, Metapan. Ajá, from CESA. No, ya Ajá, CESA. Ahora es Holding. Eh, holding, Holding. Ajá. Holding. Ajá. And eh, they deliver in, in, in many clients. Mm -hmm. eh, clients, oh, my clients for paint. And they, they work with that with us with them or with they with the with the, the cement. The cement. Uh -huh. And we talk about the sail a truck or buy a truck. Mm -hmm. Buy a truck and, and we can begin with the transport. But we need a code for make the purchase in, in, in Holcim. Uh -huh, exactly. But it's, it's, it's very interesting. Yeah. I remember I used to go near Holcim. Mm -hmm. Used to go to teach there, Metapan, near Holcim. We passed. Ah, es cierto. That was like, ooh. Two five, uh -huh, something. Imagine it was still Cesa. Ah, okay. Cesa, yeah. Uh -huh. And we had children that said that their parents worked there in the cementera. Uh -huh. And we always, uh, when we were going or coming, we always met a lot of trucks going or coming. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So yeah, I think that that's a, a very good business. Yes, and, and uh, some somebody's need to sleep or 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 stay in the place at two p.m. Yeah, two a.m. two a.m. two a.m. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And Basically, then don't sleep. They don't sleep. Oh, it's very, very mm -hmm. work. But it's a good business, and I hope we can do it. Yeah, why not? Why not? You mm -hmm. can make plans, make numbers, and and go for it. Yeah. And begin with one in a year, another one. And then little by little, uh -huh. mm -hmm. that's how people can go growing, right? From little, little, little. And then when you see, you'll say, oh, I have 10 trucks now. <laughs> oh, I knew it. I, uh, well, my father's uh, was a, a friend. Uh, he's, he's start with, one truck mm -hmm. uh, in um, three months, more or less, the, he has, or oh, he had three trucks. Wow. But it, he, um, what can I say? Uh, he had a, a little company. Mm -hmm. Or, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Colocar, para colocar viajes. To make. Eh, to, to make. make. 
-hmm. from others uh, dueños de camiones. Oh. Oh. They call him. They call him and and or call him and say, "I need a a, a travel." A uh huh. You mean just the driver or the truck too? The, no, eh, ellos eran dueños del camión. Okay. Y, y del motorista. Uh huh. Entonces lo que necesitaban era viajes. So they offer the outsourcing of transportation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Imagine. In three in three months, three trucks. Like yeah. two thousand, no twenty thousand dollars. Yes. Wow. Uh huh. But as uh, if you think well, the same truck is working and is paying itself. Mm -hmm. Working and paying itself. Mm -hmm. When you are uh, careful with the, the with the truck. The, and with the driver. Right? And with the driver, yes. Okay, who's the person who's going to drive it? Has to mm -hmm. be somebody responsible, somebody who's going to take care of the equipment and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. My wife, my wife's brothers, uh, is a is a good driver for the trucks. Oh, that's nice. Uh -huh. yeah, because it's not the same driving a truck than driving a car. Yeah. It is a big responsibility. Mm, it's more difficult. Yeah, of course. Of course. But that's a good idea. So mm -hmm. you don't need to spend your own money. You can use uh, or just go move and the others have to worry about paying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're just receiving. Uh -huh. Yes. This is the idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And imagine, so that's a uh, helping each other, right? Because the one that is offering the outsourcing is worrying only about that. Mm -hmm. And the company doesn't have to worry about the transportation because they hire somebody else to do it. Mm -hmm. That's that's helping each other. Each other. Okay. That's right. Because they, instead of worrying that they have to buy three, five trucks, they can hire or outsource the service from another company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Well, I don't know if you have any other comment, Alberto. No, teacher. That's all. Thank okay. you. Perfect. Well, see you tomorrow then. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.